started. So like I said earlier, props are optional, but we're gonna start standing today. So if you wanna just stand on up, I'll just kind of mosey on back here. And like I was telling everyone who came to class um, a few minutes early, I'm gonna demo with the wall today because that's generally how we do this in the studio. So if I stand up really nice and tall, I'm gonna plant my right leg into the ground, take a nice deep inhale, as I exhale, slide that left leg back, lunging down as far as I can, and back up. And again, I'm just using this wall to demo what you can do if you don't feel safe or balanced. Because a lot of times when we do this in the studio, if your hands are on the ballet bar, to help give you something to grab and feel stable with. Perfect, beautiful guys, just like that. And again, you don't need it. If you wanna do whatever you want with those arms to help you feel nice and balanced, and of course, for those of us that have bad knees, rather than go down that far, you can just lunge back and lower to just before discomfort and then come back up. So whatever that lower and lift looks like for you and your body. Perfect. And again, if you can get that left knee all the way to the ground, perfect. All right, I'm gonna do two more of these. So all the way back, all the way down, up, and forward, step back, Lunge down, up, forward. Beautiful, now let's add on. So I've lunged down and back, pause. My right leg is gonna give me two pulses before I stand back up. So again, lunging down and back, two pulses, and then stand up. And again, just going down to just before discomfort if we have bad knees. So I know some of us do. Perfect, excellent. How's that core, is it on? How are those hips, are they in neutral? Shoulders down and back, beautiful. So much to think about, two more. All the way down, pulse, pulse, and up. Step back, all the way down, pulse, pulse, and up. Beautiful, now let's mix this up a bit. So lunge all the way down and back, pause, put all my body weight into that front leg, and scooter the left in and out. Feeling that right leg burn? Yeah, four more, four, three, Two, one, bring it in, stand on up, and then squat, down and up, down and up, beautiful. Now, if you want your day to be a little more low key, stay here, and just squat up and down. Still really good for the legs. For those of us that want it a little bit harder, I'm gonna put my hands on the ground, step one leg back, other leg out, one in, in, out, out, in, in, and then stand up, squat down, hands forward, walk it out to a plank, walk it into a knee hover, out to a plank, back into my knee hover, and then stand up, beautiful. If you want something a little harder, now when I'm in my knee hover, hop out to a plank, hop into my knee hover, hop out to a plank, hop into my knee hover, and then stand back up, beautiful. So again, we have three options, squat, up and down, up and down, up and down, or come on forward and walk it out, walk it in, walk it out, walk it in, and stand up, or come on down and then hop out, and in, and out, and in. Beautiful, so pick whichever one works for you today. Bum, 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 excellent. And one more. And up, beautiful. Now I'm gonna come on down. <sighs> Take a nice seat, feet out in front. Start to flex the feet. Inhale, exhale, roll forward. Don't worry, I didn't forget about that other leg. Nice deep stretch. <sighs> Trying to touch my nose to my knees or as low as they go. Perfect. Now when I sit up, nice and tall, I'm gonna send my legs a little wider than your yoga mat. Dorsiflex the feet, arms nice and wide. As I inhale, I'm gonna exhale, rotate to the right, inhale back to center, exhale to the left, inhale back to center. Just getting that nice rotation of our spine as we keep warming up today. To add a little bit to this, the next time I go to the right, pulse for two exhales. Come back in, exhale, 
Back to center, beautiful guys. Back to center. Center. To center. To center. Now, let's add on to this. I'm gonna take my left pinky and try to touch the outside of my right toe, keeping my left sit bone on the mat. And come back up, and now, right pinky to left outer toe. Again, keeping the sit bones on the mat. Beautiful. So we're just getting that nice spa this morning. Don't worry, we'll add the pulses in in a second. But I'm reaching as far as I can, really using my core and my obliques. <sighs> keeping that sit bone glued to the floor. Excellent. <sighs> now let's add our pulses. So now when I rotate, two pulses back up, two pulses back up. Beautiful, guys. And up, and up. One more on either side. And up, and up. Beautiful. You need to do any other kind of stretch. Because now we're going to come into that nice low hop, low squat. And if you can, hop on up. So give me a nice jump squat up. Because if you'll remember, we didn't do the other leg. So left leg is now glued into cement as the right goes all the way down and back. And again, like before, I'm showing you with my hands on the wall. Because again, in class, we would normally have our hands on that ballet bar. If you don't need it, don't do it. This is just for those of us that might. Perfect. And as always, like we talked about with the other leg, if I have bad knees, we can lunge back and lower to just before discomfort and then come back up. You don't have to force yourself all the way down if that's causing pain. Beautiful, guys. Oh, I love seeing all the cameras on so I can check our form. These are great. Four more. All the way back and down and up. This is three, down and up. And this is two, beautiful, and last one, ah, stand on up. Now let's add those pulses in. So reverse lunge down, left leg, pulse, pulse, and then stand up. So again, we've done this in class before, so it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, just nice little warm up. Ah, perfect. All the way down, back, pulse, pulse, and up. Three more. Ah, Pulse, pulse, and up. Beautiful, guys. All the way down, pulse, pulse, and up. All the way down, pulse, pulse, and up. Whew. All right, now we're gonna do those scooters. So all the way down and back as far as you can. Left leg is my low bearing leg. Right leg scooters in and out. In and out, in and out. Four more, four, and three, and two, and one, and up. Oh, all right, squat time. We're gonna do that whole thing again, I know. Oh my goodness. All the way down and up. Again, if this is as far as you wanna go today, stay here. Otherwise, squat down, hands on the floor, and then walk one foot up, out to the plank, into my knee hugger, back, out, and in before coming back up. Perfect. So, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, and then come up. If you want a little harder still, hop out, hop in, hop out, hop in, and then up. So again, choose your own adventure. Whatever feels good for you. Beautiful, guys. <sighs> now it's cooking. Perfect. Give me two more. And up, last one. And up, and in, out, and in. This time we're gonna come all the way down onto our knees and sink into a child's pose. <sighs> a nice little stretch. You need to use your rock the body, side to side. Perfect. All right. Now I'm gonna roll over onto my back. Legs long, hips neutral. I'm gonna start with my arms overhead. Chin up, chin up, pardon me. Nice deep inhale, exhale, teaser up. 
and down. And again, if we can't tease her up, you're more than welcome to chest lift up and bring one leg to tabletop. So that'll be a nice kind of variation to warm up our abdominals. And as always, if you need to, you can grab the back of your thighs to help pull you up into that teaser. But if you need to, it's a good kind of middle ground. Perfect. You go all the way up and down. And again, trying to go as slow as humanly possible up and down to really get those abdominals. Three more. So this is three. And two. Beautiful, we can one more. And one. Come on down. Perfect. All right. If you are a prop person, go ahead and grab your prop. We're going to lay it on the side. Now, two versions of this. The bottom leg can either be straight or bent. Whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm going to keep my left shoulder down and back, ribs pulled up off the mat, and my top hand is going to have my prop on my hip. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale, and as I exhale, lifting right arm, right leg to the sky, and back down. Lifting up and back down. Both shoulders are down and back. Beautiful. If you don't want to use a prop, you don't have to. You can do this with just body weight. Perfect. And if I peek down over my right shoulder, my right leg is in line with my spinal column, as well as my right arm. Perfect. It's going to do three more. So three, two, beautiful. One. Now I'm going to bring these arms down. My leg is parallel. My right arm is hovering above my hip. Now as I exhale, arm and leg come forward and back in line with my body. Forward, back in line with my body. You can, use, you can get a little bit better. There we go. Perfect. And again, keeping that arm and leg parallel to the floor at all times. I know it's tricky. That leg is starting to get heavy and wanting to droop. So really try to resist that urge. Four more. So four. And three. And two. Beautiful. Last one. Excellent. If you need to, set that arm and leg down. Make sure, how's my core? Are my ribs lifted up? Shoulder down and back. Beautiful. Now, when I lift my arm and my leg to the sky, I'm going to make a large circle and just keep making that circle. Arm and leg moving together as a team. Beautiful. Excellent. Two more this way, and then we're going to go the other way. Last one. Beautiful. Now, you go the opposite direction. It's going to feel a little funky. Might not be quite as circular as the first direction was, and that's okay. Beautiful, guys. Ah, excellent. And three more. So three. And two. And one. Beautiful. Come on down. Shake that if you need to. Now I'm going to come up onto my forearm. So my elbow is under my shoulder. This bottom shoulder is down and back. Again, the bottom leg can be bent or straight. Doesn't matter. Right hand goes behind the ear. And I'm going to externally rotate my right leg. So parallel, externally rotated. Parallel, externally rotated. Hopefully you can see that. Now as I exhale, I'm going to use my abdominals to pull my knee and elbow together and then back down. So I'm pulling those obliques up and in and down. I'm really trying to kiss my bottom ribs and my hips together. Up and down. And up. And down. And this leg might be a little grumpy. So you were just warming it up. Beautiful. <sighs> Good. Three more. So three. And two. And one. Excellent. Now, here's the fun part. I'm going to come back down and stretch my arms overhead, fingers touching, and stretch my legs out. From here, I'm going to try to crunch up to the side. I'm going to take a trial and a little bit, there we go, to get those obliques, arms and legs up, keeping the core, arms and legs up. So we look kind of like a banana. Perfect. And I like to 
call what we're about to do next a banana split. You'll see why here in a second. Three more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now, I'm going to roll up into my banana, roll up onto my back, squeeze it up and down. I'll move so I'm not in the wall. And now we're on our back, teasering up and down again. You see my hands touching at all times, up and down. Three more, up and down, up and down. Beautiful, last one. Now, roll on to the other side. I'm gonna spin around so you can see me. And again, banana up on the other side. And down, and up, and down. Down three more, up and down, two, one. Now let's try rolling on this side into our teaser. So come up, we'll roll to the back, teaser up and down, up and down. Beautiful. Two more, perfect. Up and down, last one, up and down. Excellent. Roll back onto that initial side. My bottom arm becomes a pillow. Right leg can either be bent or straight. We'll grab our prop if we want it. Left arm and left leg are nice and straight. Nice deep inhale. Exhale up and down. Up and down. Keeping both shoulders down and back. Those ribs are nice and lifted. Probably can't tell on the shirt I'm wearing, but they're up. Core is on. Hips are neutral. And again, my left arm and leg are in line with my spinal column. So if I peek over my shoulder, I can see my arm and my leg lifting along the line inside my body. Three more. And three. Beautiful, guys. Two. The last one. Up. Come on down, arm and leg parallel. As we now sweep them forward and back. Forward and back. Beautiful. Again, keeping arm and leg parallel to the ground as much as possible. Because again, that leg is going to get heavy and it's going to want to droop. So if you feel that toe steaming the carpet or the yoga mat, then you know that you need to lift it up. And the great thing about science series work is you can look down and see, like, oh, that's what my body's doing. Three more. Three. And two. And one. <sighs> Come on down. We need to shake it out for a second, because now we're going to do those circles. So, if I send my arm and my leg out, lift up, out, around, forward, and back. And again, it doesn't matter what direction we start with. We're going to get both, so we're going to even you out. Excellent. Oh, beautiful. Really trying to initiate that movement from the shoulder girdle and the hip socket. Two more. One. Two. Now, here's the fun part the other way with our circles. Beautiful. <sighs> and again, it's okay if they're not quite as circular in this direction. Three more. So three and two. Last one. And come on down. Again, just like before, I'm going to come onto my forearm. So my shoulder is under or probably over my elbow. Bottom leg can be straight or bent. And I'm going to externally rotate that left leg. So parallel, externally rotated, parallel, externally rotated. My hand is behind my ear. My deep inhale, exhale, elbow knee kiss, and back down. So exhale up and down, up and down, up and down. Really trying to kiss my lower ribs to my hips. So I'm really feeling those obliques working for me. Beautiful. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Three more. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. Now I'm just going to temporarily roll onto my stomach. My hands are going to go under my shoulders. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, just kind of baby swan or full blown swan up and back down. And exhaling all the way up. And then slowly lowering down. 
Now, this is kind of hard to figure out what kind of articulation we should be using and what we should be feeling. Imagine that when your nose is on the carpet or the yoga mat, that you know, there's a little marble between your nose and the floor. And so as I start this exhale, I'm rolling that marble up towards the ceiling with my nose. And I went, when I'm at the height of my swan, I'm rolling that marble down again towards the floor. So again, this is a really slow exaggeration, but hopefully it helps kind of visualize and get that kind of cueing across. And again, we don't have to come up all the way up and all the way down as it bothers the back. Two more. All the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Beautiful. From here, I'm going to push my hands and my knees to I come up into a quadruped. If you need to, just for a second, give me some cat cows, just arching that back up and down, rocking the hips side to side. I know a lot of us have back problems, so just kind of warm it up because we're going to be on our hands and knees for a minute. So just kind of stretching that spine out, however it feels like it needs. All right. So again, hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. I'm going to start with my left leg. So take a nice deep inhale, exhale, send that left leg straight up behind you and give me some lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. Beautiful. Now be careful with this because I don't want to lift that leg so high to the ceiling that my hips fall out of neutral. Because if I do that, then I'm going to start to put pain in my low back. So we want our backs to be nice and healthy today. Excellent. And you're doing great. Now hopefully we are feeling those nice booty and hamstring muscles working. Two more. One, two. Leave that leg long and give me some circles. Again, I'm initiating that circle from the hip socket and not just moving the foot. Beautiful, three more. So three, two, one. Go ahead and come on down, shake your wrist out. So I know some of us aren't used to being on our wrist that much. So you need to, rather than have the hands flat on the ground, you can make a little fist and come up onto your fist so that way the wrist is straight. If for any reason that doesn't help, come on down to your forearms. The booty is gonna be up in the air, but only I can see you, so it'll be our secret. So, back to my quadruped, send that left leg straight out, and now I'm gonna make rainbows with that left leg as I go to the outside of the right and then to the left. Again, the hips are gonna move a little bit on this one, but we want them to be reasonably neutral and reasonably still to protect our back. Again, you can squeeze the booty, kick that posterior chain on, protecting the low back, and get a little bit better workout. Perfect, four more. So, four, and three, and two, and one. Ah, bring that leg back to parallel, open out to the side, and back in. Out to the side, and back in. Keeping it parallel to the ground, perfect. Nice. And easy. Ah, if you want to get a little deeper into that glute, externally rotate the foot. So this is what it looks like parallel. This is what it looks like externally rotated. Beautiful. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Ah, bring those knees down. And give me a So we can just sit on our knees unless that hurts. You can stretch your arms out a little bit. So now, I'm going to start with my right arm. Just give me some nice circles. <sighs> you need to kind of shake that wrist a little bit while you make your circle. Two more in this direction, and then we'll go the other way. So going the other way. And again, if you want, shake that hand and that wrist while you make your circle. If that's too much going on, don't worry about it. Perfect. Three more. Three. And two. And one. Now let's try that left arm. And hopefully your right arm is a little less grumpy at me, especially that wrist. Perfect. And if you want, try shaking and rocking that wrist while you make your circle. Two more. One and two. Now let's go the other way. 
And again, if you want to take that wrist the other way, that's a okay. And if you're like, no, I didn't like that at all, okay, that's fine too. <laughs> two more. One and two. Perfect. For the sixth one, I'm going to sit sideways so you can see what I'm doing. My right arm is going to come up and pat myself on the back. Well, my left arm comes up behind me and my fingers interlace. Perfect. Both of my shoulders are down and back, and I'm going to resist the urge to drop my head because that's a strain on my neck. I'm going to either look straight ahead or up. I don't care which. So just as long as we can get that nice stretch. And if nothing touches, we're just trying to get them there. So maybe our fingertips will just tap, and that's okay. Very slowly release. And now we're going to do the other side. So now my left hand pats me on the back while the right hand comes up. Again, interlacing. If we can, if not, that's fine. And again, both shoulders down and back, looking straight ahead or up, keeping that neck nice and safe. Ah, we can just notice of, could you touch your hands both sides? Or was one side way off compared to the other? Generally, one side is not as flexible as its neighbor. And then slowly release. Now, let's do that other side. So, I'm going to come back in my quadruped. You need to go in more cat cow and bounce spine, get yourself all nice and situated. Now, my right leg is my workhorse leg. As I send that leg straight back and do my lifts and lowers. Perfect. Hands are active, kind of opening that pickle jar into the floor for those of you who've had me in class before for planks. And again, my hips are in neutral. I'm not lifting so high that my back starts to hurt and arch. Perfect. Four more. So four, three, two, one. Excellent. And now circles. And again, I'm initiating that circle from the hip socket, and I'm not just moving that foot. And it's okay if they're more ovals or squares. I'll take all kinds of shapes here. Nice deep inhales. Ah, deep exhales. Three more. So three, two, one, we're going to go there in the other direction. Excellent. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. Ah, how's that core? Is it on? Yeah? I know mine's on because I'm talking to you. <laughs> but hopefully yours is too. Three more. So three, two, one. Set it down. If you need to, sink into that child's pose. Give your wrists a little break. But just think we're halfway done. So, we've got this. Shake it out. All right, final two. We go ahead and come back to that quadruped. Send my right leg behind me. And again, I'm going to make those rainbows. So I'm just tapping my right foot to the outside of the left and then laterally to the right. Again, the hips are going to move a little bit, but my main goal should be A, to keep them in neutral, and B, to keep them as still as possible. Perfect. Core is on, shoulders down and back. All that same Pilates goodness still applies. Four, more. So, four. And three. And two. And one. Perfect. Bring that leg back to parallel. Open out to the side and back in. Out to the side and back in. Keeping that leg parallel to the ground at all times. Beautiful. Now, of course, if you need to, and we're going to If you want to get a little deeper into that booty, externally rotate. So this is parallel, out, in. This is externally rotated, out, in. You really feel it. It's a great feeling. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Oh, come on down. Come back to seated. Let's get those wrist little shakes on. Now I'm going to interlace my fingers. That one goes high. But I'm just going to kind of do the wave a little bit. So I'm using that interlacing of my fingers to kind of help take some of the tension off my wrist as I move them up and down. Now I'll try to go the other way with the wave. And if you're like me, one wave, one way feels real weird compared to the other. But again, we're just starting to release that tension in those wrists. Two more. One and two. Shake, shake, shake. Now I'm going to come onto my belly. So Lying down on my belly, of course, hips are in neutral core engaged. Small props have them handy. All right, from here, I'm going to put my hands just a little bit in front of my shoulders. Nice deep inhale, exhale. I'm just going to sphinx up. 
if it feels good for you in your body, you're more than welcome to go into a full blown squat. But again, if that back's feeling grumpy, just come about halfway up. Little baby squat. And down. Again, really important here to keep our hips in neutral. If we start to arch, your low back is going to get really mad at me. <sighs> Two more. So, all the way up and down. All the way up and down. Perfect. So, with my nose and forehead on the carpet, I'm going to lift my arms up. So, I kind of have like a big W going on with my arms. So, take a nice deep inhale, exhale. Lift my upper body and arms up and down. Exhale, lifting up and down. Beautiful. If you'd like to make this a little harder, then the next time you come up, lift the legs with you. And then set the legs down as you come down. So exhale, up and down. Again, keep those hips in neutral. So hopefully this looks like what we did on Wednesday. So this is just kind of adding on. Now when I come up, Pause, arms up, and then exhale, extend the arms out and back in. So I'm pressing those arms forward, pulling them back in. Pressing them out, pulling them back in. Three more. Three, and two, and one. Pull in, come down. Beautiful. Now, if you'd like, grab your props in your hands. Wonderful, because we're going to try that with props. Aha, uh -huh. remember I told you we'd add on on Wednesday? This is the add on. Inhale, exhale, come up. And now extend those arms out and in. Ooh, feel that difference? Oh, that's perfect. If you don't like it, set the props down and do it without. You do not have to do it with the props. Perfect. Three more. Three, two, one, and come on down. Beautiful. All right. Now, do you still like to use the props or not? My arms are going to go wide. So I have a giant letter T with my upper body. So nice deep inhale. Exhale, lift up and down. Really feeling that back work. And again, if you try it with the props and decide you don't like them, don't use them. So all the way up and down. All the way up and down. Three more. Beautiful, guys. Up. And down, up, and down. Last one, up, and down. Oh, if you need to shake it out, if you're feeling anything in that low back, just make sure. Are my hips in neutral? If they are and you're still feeling discomfort, tuck that tailbone under and give me an imprint. Beautiful. Last thing we're going to do with this. So, inhale, exhale, come up, hold my arms in that T wing, and give me some circles. And again, it's okay if they're more of ovals, like mine are. <laughs> That's a okay. Three more. Three, two, one, and come on down. And don't worry, I will make you do it the other direction. Whew, you guys did it. All right. So now, oh, roll on over to your back. Excellent. Once I'm on my back, I'm going to bend the knees, feet flat on the ground, shoulders down and back, arms compressed into the mat, or if you're like me, Thumbs on lower ribs, fingertips on hips. Nice deep inhale, exhale, bridge up and down. Up and down. Beautiful. Again, you can articulate or hinge. For me, in my low back, articulation doesn't feel good, so I always stick with hinging. But if the opposite is true for you, go for it. You need that articulation, king or queen. Perfect. Up and down. So now let's add on. Bridge up, pause, and my knees are going to pulse outwards to opposite wall twice and come down. So just pulse, pulse, and down. I don't want to pulse the knees so wide that my hips drop. So just be cognizant of that. So bridge up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. Again, squeezing that booty. Pulse, pulse, and down. Two more. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Last one. Up. Pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. Making sure my hips are safely on the mat. I'm going to bring my awareness to my feet. Hopefully, your feet were parallel. Now, keeping the heels where they are, externally rotate those toes towards opposite walls. So I'm in my external rotation with the feet. 
Now bridge up and down, up and down. Hope you feel a little bit of a difference. Don't worry, here in a second, you're gonna feel more, but more in that outer part of the booty. Beautiful. You might feel some outer thighs. They're probably cranky from all the great leg stuff we've been doing today. Three more. So again, hinging, articulating, whatever feels good. Two more. <sighs> Last one. And now let's add those pulses in. So hinge up, pulse, pulse, and down. Or articulate, pardon me. Pulse, pulse, and down. What do you notice with that outer booty? Do you feel it better? Yeah, you're welcome. Perfect. Pulse, pulse, and down. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Summer's coming. We gotta get those summer bodies ready. Because <laughs> at some point, we'll get to go outside again. Beautiful. Three more. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. And up, pulse, pulse, and down. Last one. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. The feet can come back to parallel, but now I'm just going to scoot, scoot, scoot my feet far away from my booty. So feet close, feet far away. Hopefully you can see that difference. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Now bridge up or and down. Are you again, hinging or articulating? Hopefully we're feeling way more hamstrings. That's the really cool thing about this. The farther your feet get away from your booty, the more we get into those hamstrings. Beautiful. And again, we're pressing evenly through both feet. So one leg's not working harder than the other, but also we're putting even pressure from the inside to the outside of the foot. So the equal hamstring activation is achieved. Perfect. Two more and then we'll add on. Up and down and up and down. Beautiful. Now when I come up, Pulse, pulse, and come down. You're welcome. Come up, pulse, pulse, and down. Two more. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. If you need to, hug those knees into your chest, rock side to side. If your low back's a little bit grumpy, leave the feet on the ground and rock those knees side to side. Perfect. And again, slower is better, just so we don't hurt ourselves. Excellent. All right. Now, my left leg is going to go all the way out and hover off the ground. Hopefully, you can see that. My right knee is going to come into my chest. Inhale, exhale, chest lift up. Start grabbing my right knee and then swap. So I'm holding my chest lift, doing this nice single leg stretch. Perfect. Shoulders down and back, neck as relaxed as possible. Beautiful. Oh, let's do the rock stars. You don't even need me to say this. You knew what was up. Excellent. Four more. Three, two, one. If you need to bring both knees in, come on down. And that wasn't so bad. Let's try double leg stretch now. So for this one, normally I can put my arms all over my head. I have a reformer here. My legs are going to start in tabletop. Perfect. All right. So now I'm going to chest lift up, grab my knees. Exhale, arms and legs long, and back in. Long, and back in. Perfect. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Again, come on down if you need to. Rocking side to side. Perfect. All right. Now, let's go ahead and roll onto a side. I don't care what side, we're going to even out the wash. I'm going to start with my left elbow under my left shoulder. Stretch those legs long. I'm going to put one in front of the other today. Hopefully you can see me here. Nice deep inhale, exhale, side plank up. Oh, I'm just hang out here. You know, sneak, 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 okay? We're going to hold this for kind of four. So four, three, two, one. Come on down. If that was too easy, feel free. To come up onto your hands next time. But again, so no one feels left out, I'm going to stay on our forearm today. So, again, legs nice and long, put one in front of the other. Inhale, exhale, side plank up. Now let's do some hip dips. It feels obliques and days again. So, dipping down and up, down and up. And that's how far you do what you need it to do. Three more. Down and up and down and up. And up and come on down. Cool. Perfect. I'm going to move my coffee for this next one. Feeling that would be a disaster. 
stretch it out if you need to give that little shoulder a break, that's fine. Nice deep inhale, exhale. Now sit my right arm overhead. So my right bicep is touching my ear. Nice deep inhale, exhale, rotate the upper body to look at the floor and come back. Rotate to look at the floor and come back. Beautiful. Three more. Rotate and up two more. Rotate and up this one. Rotate and up, come down. Ah, beautiful, guys. We just have one more on this side, and we're going to plug those two things together. So when I'm in my side plank, I'm going to do one hip dip, one rotate, and repeat. So we got this. All right, ready for our last one? Nice deep inhale, exhale, come on up, arm overhead, dip the hip, and rotate. Dip the hip, and rotate. Beautiful. Dip the hip, and rotate. Last one, dip the hip, and rotate. Ah, come on down. You need to shake those shoulders out, stretch it out, whatever feels good. Now we have a whole other side to do. So roll on over to that other side. And again, I'm going to just have my elbows just so you can see what I'm doing. And so no one feels left out. Legs straight, one in front of the other. Nice deep inhale. Ah, exhale, side plank up on this side. Now, as always, when we do side plank, one side's going to feel way different than the other. And that's okay. Maybe this is our awesome side. Maybe this is our not so awesome side. And come on down. Whew. Can I take stock? Was that our great side or was that our, ooh, good thing no one can see me, but the instructor side. So don't worry. It'll be our secret. So nice deep inhale. Exhale, side plank up. And hip dip. And hip dip. So just down and up. Really working those obliques. An oblique kind of day. Beautiful. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Come on down. Beautiful. Can you two take it out? Just think we have two things left. Rotation and plug it all together. So, again, come on down. Straighten the legs. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Left arm is overhead. Rotate. And back to side point. Rotate. And back. Beautiful. Rotate and back. Four more. Rotate and back. Three and two and one and done. Cool. Shake it out a little bit. Hoping you're feeling that shoulder. Yes. Last one is plugging it together. One hip dip, one rotate. You got this. So I'm going to put my forearm down. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, side plank up, arm overhead, hip dip, to rotate, hip dip, to rotate, hip dip, to rotate, hip dip, to rotate, two more, hip dip, to rotate, hip dip, to rotate. Ah, come on down. Beautiful. Stretch it out a little bit. Ah, all right. Now this next one is going to be a modified thoracic crab stretch. Don't worry, it'll make a lot more sense here in a second. So if I sit up on the knee, feet are going to be flat on the ground, knees bent, and my arms are going to be bent behind me. Hands can face wherever feels good. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale, and as I exhale, I'm going to really round my spine down, big knee, elbow, and then inhale and stretch my thoracic spine and chest to the sky, and then exhale down. And inhale up. So inhale, lengthen you with spine. Exhale, coming down. So if you have a tight mid back or even a grumpy low back, this should be super duper helpful for that. Excellent. You can also start to bring your awareness to your shoulders and those scapulas, also known as your shoulder blades. So as we bring our spine to the ground, you can feel those shoulder blades pull apart. And as we inhale and press our chest up to the sky, you can feel your shoulder blades come together like they're trying to touch. Perfect. So again, we're getting that nice shoulder mobility in with a spine stretch. Two more. Up and down. Last one. Up and down. Beautiful. All right. So again, shake your wrist out really quick. I'm going to stay in the same position. And we're going to try to loosen up that back a little bit more. Take a nice deep inhale. Now exhale, come up into a crab. Just 
a weird cross. Because now when I exhale, I'm going to lower my booty, and then as I inhale, press it up. So, down and up. Kind of like a swing. Exhale down, inhale up. And if you have short, stumpy arms like me, your booty's probably going to drag on the floor a little bit. Perfect. And for those of you with nice big booties, I apologize. You're probably in a similar boat to me. But again, we're just trying to really loosen up that spine. Round it as we go down and then press it up straight. You're also going to feel your shoulders here and your arms. Arms are probably a little grumpy. Perfect. Two more. And up. And down. And up. Beautiful. Set that booty down. Go ahead and bring your feet into prayer pose. Knees wide. And then forward fold. Trying to touch your knees to your toes or to the floor, however bendy you are. Come all the way down. <sighs> Excellent. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly come up. And now I'm going to come onto my knees. Perfect. Once I'm on my knees, come up into what we call a high kneeling position. So my knees and my shins. And my feet are on the floor, hips are neutral, core engaged, shoulders down and back. Arms can be wherever you need. Now as I exhale, keeping my back straight, lean backwards and come up. So we're just doing a high kneel lean back. So again, if I do this from the side, you can see that I'm nice and straight. So sometimes when we lean, we want to stick that booty out, and it's easy, but it's not actually getting us that nice workout. So all the way back, as far as you can, and up. And hopefully we're feeling that stretch and opening through the hip flexors and the quads. Core is on, because you know it's Pilates. Perfect. All the way back, and up. Two more. All the way back. Beautiful, guys. And up. Again, arms can do whatever you need. Now this time when I lean all the way back, pause. Give me a baby rotation to the side. The center and then back up. So lean back, pause, baby rotation to the side, the center, and up. Beautiful. Hips in neutral. Really super important here. Again, squeeze the booty to activate the posterior chain if we need to. One more per side. And all the way back. Rotate. Back to center and up. Lean back. Rotate back to center, and up. And I'm going to drop my fingertips to the floor and give me a nice cat cow from here. So just further stretching out. It's a little bit of a high cat cow, so I'm not slack on the hands. This is really going to help the arch that thoracic spine that we've been talking about. Two more. One, two, one, two. Beautiful. Now, if you need to, hands flat. One foot on the floor, the other foot on the floor. Slowly come up to standing. You've been on the mat for a while. And if you need to stand straight up, I'm going to just get myself a little stretch to the side, to the other side. Nice deep inhale, come back to center. And exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Articulate forward like I'm rolling over an imaginary beach ball. So my hands on the ground. If you want, you can shake your head yes, shake your head no, shake your arms, shake your shoulders, shake your booty. Even if you need to, you can prance those legs a little bit. That nice little stretch. If anything's feeling tight, feel free to do that. I'm going to stay rolled over with my legs as straight as possible. And the next time I exhale, I'm going to try to walk both of my hands to the right as far as they'll go. And just kind of let my head and everything hang heavy to the right, feeling that nice stretch through the left side of my body. Again, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, walk my hands to the left now. And again, noticing what I'm feeling on that right side of the body as I let my arms and head hang heavy to the left. Nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. Another deep inhale, exhale, come back to center, and then see if by chance, by doing that, we're able to get a little lower. You should be able to get a 
smidge lower. Perfect. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly start. Just back that spine, one vertebrae at a time. Head being the final piece to come back up to standing. 